All right, thank you, Carson. Time is 602. Huntsville City Council rejected a proposal to fire an employee convicted of a felony. At last night's city council meeting, the council voted nay unanimously. Way 31's Luke Hydash is live this morning outside Huntsville City Hall with why this proposal was shot down. Luke, good morning. Hey Megan, good morning. Well, this all comes less than a week after former Huntsville police officer William Darby was sentenced to 25 years in jail for the murder of Jeffrey Parker. And after he was convicted a few months back, he stayed on the city payroll for quite some time. And now anybody who finds themselves in a similar position to Darby's who works for the city will get to keep their job just like Darby did after being convicted. Now, this proposed ordinance shot down unanimously by city council last night here at City Hall. One local law expert suggesting that they do so. Why? Well, the ordinance said no disciplinary hearing would be held after conviction. That violates state law, which gives city employees a right to that hearing before being let go. And attorney David Knup says, well, that's a no-go. The city's existing ordinance says that anyone who is indicted or convicted of an act that would constitute a felony can be terminated. And so that's already in the ordinance. And so as I understand the, the proposed change, it would simply be that that person upon conviction would be terminated without a hearing. And that's not something that we would advise because of that Supreme Court decision. Councilwoman Frances Acreage was the one who originally proposed this ordinance after hearing from Canup. She actually voted no against her own ordinance, as did Bill Kling. In the end, he had first voted for it and then changed his mind later on. Live in Huntsville this morning, Luke Idash, Way 31 News.